What's up my friends, it's me again doing a quick video on the visual mods that I've done for this vehicle and extras. I try to do a really short one just for the performance one since that's what most people are interested in. But I wanted to kind of see, tell people about what else I've done to it. I mean you can see I've got the Valentine 1 radar, it's awesome, I haven't gotten a ticket since I got it like a year ago. And, uh, and then I've got a dash cam there, it's pretty sweet, you can find those on Amazon. All kinds of different ones. They're really good for um, insurance if you get in an accident, which has already happened. And um, whatever else. Um, let me think. Oh, yeah. This is probably the funnest toy as far as, like, just random stuff I've put on this car. 200, the 200-watt, 200 I think, Pelican speaker. And this is the uh, it's a, the police. You know, obviously, you don't want to use these on the streets. You'll get in trouble. But... <laughs> that and you can you know use it as a PA pretty cool this is a Bluetooth you can't really see it because it's dark in here but it's Bluetooth plugs into that port there and goes straight to your phone I think it's called the torque app it has all sorts of stats and stuff on everything in your car it goes straight to your phone really cool little thing you can get them on Amazon for really cheap Actually, right next to it, I have, um, I put a toggle switch in there, and that is for my Street Glow Gold Series Purple. Um, a lot of people think these are trashy, tacky looking. I think they look awesome. And you can, the Gold Series Purple in particular is literally almost impossible to get a hold of. Um, it's becoming really popular, so I was lucky to get that. I had to wait almost six months for that kit. It uh, kind of sucked. Boo, get over here! Snooky! Snooky, hey baby, hey! Ah! 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 Hey, leave it alone! Come here. Alright, and then this is where the fun begins. We have the Save On Carbon Fiber Hood. And it looks so good. It's like a, I think it's like $800, but um, here's the thing with it though, is you want to get a heat shield for it or the heat will warp the carbon fiber pretty quickly. It'll last a little while, but you're going to notice damage a lot sooner. And if you're invested that much money in a carbon fiber hood, you want to protect it. You can get this heat shield stuff off Amazon as well. The actual installation of it is going to be pretty difficult. You're going to have to cut out little pieces. This was very well done. A friend helped me out with this. He spent, I think, like five hours doing it. This here was a really fun project, trying to get a Optima battery in. Um, I think a lot of people have had questions on this in the past because the, um, the, the terminals from the vehicle that come with it, they're like these 90 degree little elbow things that will only work if the terminal is uh, like on right here, like this close, not out here. So we had to completely take those terminals apart and fabricate this. Uh, if you guys got any questions on how we did this, let me know and I'll explain as best I can. Um, that was kind of an advanced little project, but worked out really well. Of course, we bought these little engine bay dressing bolts. They're fun. It's a nice little touch for cheap. Here's the Mishimoto uh, radiator cap. Um, looks really cool. So it's got the little carbon fiber one. Um, I did notice the other night when we were putting the silicone hosing on, because uh, we were leaning on it, and we are putting pressure down on it. Um, it's pretty easy. Oh, look. There's some. Yeah, it's pretty easy to uh, make it leak um not as tightly sealed as the original but it looks cool with the carbon fiber and of course we got emblem badge replacement whatever i like this one they got all kinds of different badges now uh, this was the one i think they came out with originally i'm not sure um just kind of gets away from that kia uh, name which a lot of people have bad taste for for some dumb reason um, but those are easy to install. I got the one in the front, one in the back, and the one on the steering wheel. Really easy to install. Up in here we have the six-speed uh, the horns. They're really loud. They sound a lot better than the originals. That was kind of a tough installation as well. There aren't anything to hang, in, hang it in. Um, 
I wouldn't say it's tough, but you do have to fabricate some hangers to put them on back there. But they look real cool. Badass. And uh, and then we got the Road Runs grill. Um, this is the V2, I think. They make a V1 with a finer mesh. I liked the way this looks better. It's just a matter of preference, really. And, of course, I replaced the Fogs with uh, HID uh, 12K. You guys, that sweet violet goes really good with my underglow. Um, at nighttime, I like it a lot. That wasn't too difficult to install. And blacked out the tail lights. I think it looks really cool with uh, with the black. And I got this box of subs back here. They're not very good. They sound they just sound really nice. Could be better, but as you can see, the trunk can hold a pretty big box back there. And uh, and I'm still been trying to find time to do these uh, these reflect. It basically replaces these with LEDs, and you wire them into your brake harness, and they'll come on. Or you can do blinkers, whatever. I think it'd be better to have secondary brake lights safety feature in there as well. Yeah, those look good. Okay, guys, that's most of the stuff. There's a lot more, of course, but uh, I just got most of the. Uh, most of the stuff, I think. Uh, if you got any other questions on how we did installs or any of that, just hit me up in the comments. Hit like and subscribe.